Hi, April. I've learned that MLGW and the Public Works Department crews are currently on 24 hour shifts as we await to see what Ida brings to this area. Everyone says that they are ready and waiting to respond if and when needed. Embracing the calm before the storm. City of Memphis crews spent the day clearing storm drains in areas the city has deemed high priority due to their potential for flooding. Some of them are problematic. They're in low-lying areas, generally under railroad bridges, uh, underpasses that can flood uh, easily. City leaders say it's important to be proactive because debris and litter can hinder water flow. It's why they ask you to clear storm drains near your home. And if you notice anything, there are things you can do to help them out. If they do see it, uh, they see multiple areas where they see inlets have uh, litter or trash, notify us and we'll try to get a crew out there uh, through 311. As public works crews respond, MLGW has crews on standby for the storm's aftermath. Until we get hit, we won't know what will be hit. Our troubleshooters will go out right away to assess any damage that we have. MLGW says it has 20 teams of four on standby, as well as more than 50 contracted tree trimming crews, along with out of town crews on standby as well. The goal is to keep everyone safe as what's left of Ida moves through the Mid South especially our most vulnerable. If anybody needs to find uh, a shelter, uh, we, that's obviously a, a major concern when the storm events because we do have a population of homelessness out there. And so we do try to work and get that information to them. MLGW says there has been discussions, but they won't make a decision about whether or not to send crews to Louisiana or other hard hit areas until we see what happens here locally with the storm. Of course, they do share a very important reminder with you. Do not drive through standing water, down trees or power lines. Reporting live downtown, Janae Lewis of URAG News Channel 3. Janae, thank you. For the